Well, this weekend the state singles tournament begins in tennis. The number one seed in the girls draws a 16 year old sophomore competing for Yarmouth High School, but she doesn't attend Yarmouth High School. She attends a virtual school, but resides in Yarmouth, which means Lana Mavor could make some history. Lana Mavor is one of the most sought after tennis recruits in the country. It all began with an early start with the sport. I was pregnant and somebody had to watch the kids. So my dad came over and had to do something with them to keep them busy. So before you know it, they're marching, they're practicing, they're throwing balls and off to the court they go. An elite player at a young age, Mavor was struggling to find court time after school. All the facilities were booked. She needed to find a way to practice during the day and go to school at the same time. We started like missing school, but then I started homeschooling a few subjects, which I did with my mom. And then in high school, like you can't have that option if I want to play high school tennis. So it's either all the way in school or all the way out of school. So we chose to go to Maine Virtual Academy. Maine charter schools are in their fourth year and Mavor could be the first individual state champion to come out of the program. She's found working out earlier in the day has been to her benefit compared to the traditional after school training. In the afternoon I would go and I'd just be so tired from sitting at the desk and studying and it was like not productive. So this is a lot better. And the proof is in the results as Mavor has made a jump up the recruiting rankings this season. Stanford among those schools that is looking at Mavor who is certainly a great talent and wouldn't we all like to have virtual jobs and get our work out in and then uh, head off to the job guys, right? Sounds good to me. Ideal. Let's talk to the bosses about that. <laughs>